Hi, welcome to JMeter Tutorials. In my previous lesson, you have learned how to prepare JMeter script for mobile app, web applications. Okay. In the uh, this video, you will learn how you will prepare your total JMeter script into a dynamic data. Okay. So, what are the details you are seeing here? See HTML. Okay, this everything will be displayed as a dynamic data so no one can't see it's what is actually it is giving okay this is a dot in our website dot html files okay everything will not display so how you have to perform this operations like uh, everything will be dynamic so which is it is a static right so then will be we need to write the script we need to prepare JMeters this recording as script into a dynamic data. So user can see this is a dynamic, everything is dynamic. Okay. So instead of using static one, if you have seen test plan, okay, it is showing as user defined variables, which is have a name, which is have a value. What is this user defined variables? User defined variable means user can define a variables with the proper value okay user can define the variable means create the variables with the proper variable values that variable values can be useful in your different different samples here i am using http sample http request so which is uh, using for uh, web applications dot html files i am using so i have added http request defaults this is my server name or your website unit pass okay so this one i have recorded you can uh, go through my previous video or uh, in my videos i have given how to record the web applications in uh, desktop as well as mobile apps okay so when coming to how you will pass this data as a dynamic okay so let me start once if you have uh, seen here so name and the value right so let me pass this url as a dynamic so why i'm using dynamic image so url that can be changed okay so when you are testing your uh, application under test environments that url can be changed as per business requirements okay just click on add you have to give url name sorry that uh, variable name and variable value this is my variable value right next one i need to add for this html page instead of static so this is my mobile app this is my url html page I'm coming to automation testing yes you have to provide the value okay automation just give the name so when coming to selenium okay this could be as a selenium Okay, and this HTTPQC tutorial. You can ask HTTPQC. Give this name as okay. One, two, three, four, five. Total five. So now my variables are declared names, and it is having different values. So how you have to write the dynamic data? That is the syntax is. So let me increase the font. So you can guys can see properly. You have to use dollar and open and curly braces. Closed. Open and close. Here you need to write the variable name. So in this manner you have to write. So now you what you will get here dollar open and close curly braces. You will see URL. This is my dynamic data. It will pass the data. What is the value I am giving? It will pass here. Okay. Just go to here, just remove this one, delete and enter. Just save. Let me add this one mobile app. Okay. Here I will get uh, mobile app. I Means open and closed. Color braces and uh, dollar. And here automation. Same like this, you have to perform. Dollar curly basis permission. 
okay selenium dollar curly braces selenium dollar curly braces so let me write from here hpqc so let me i have added this one just me add this two three also you have to give the path i'm using the path okay and uh, next one is next what i am to add this automation this go to here automation this path i am adding you can add here also here also you can add you can provide the names okay selenium what i am adding selenium only right so there should be same name then only it will work hp qc okay this debug sampler we will explain in uh, next class okay everything is set up okay, let me remove this one name okay, here automation testing here it is a selenium so let me add this one it is a HP QC ALM debug sample. This is the name I have given. You can names also you can create like this. There's a name and you can provide the values. Okay, let me run this one. I have given only one user. So okay, let me clear this one. Let run this one. See it is passed the URL. It is giving as 20p mobile application. It is giving the wrong one. It is giving the proper is giving the proper it is giving the proper right so why it has giving the data this proper 52 slash 20 means some space is added something like that okay and the mobile applications right so mobile app may copy maybe Okay, and automation testing, right? Automation. Okay, let me run this once. Again, it is giving these two. The mobile application. This percentile is coming. Meant some space is coming. That's why. So let me check this once. Here it is come here it is coming right 52 55 why it is coming means see what is the URL it is coming 52 slash 20 p mobile applications right so you need to check this one you need to remove this space okay then only it will work properly so let me clear this one and run so again it is giving as it is giving the proper data but it is giving as wrong one it is giving failure but it is giving the http code 404 that's why it is giving so this this is giving the errors that's why it is giving the 404 error because of this remaining is not working it will take some time let me check this one one more time so that we can understand where i have given mistake so here it is giving 55 it is giving has this one so as per my here numbers will be not there So you are facing errors these are the pages ok let me run now it is working fine see proper response is coming right so like this you have to pass each and every details as a dynamic using this user defined variable so what are the variable you want to declare everything you can declare from here okay 
and uh, you can pass here okay if you have any doubts if you are facing any issues while creating this one and uh, please uh, provide your valuable comments in the form of uh, comments and provide your uh, valuable suggestions also okay thank you thank you for watching my video in next lesson we will see debug samplets why we will use debug samplets how to the debug sampler is very useful okay okay thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos and uh, please uh, try it home this one please uh, provide your valuable comments okay thank you thank you for watching my video